instructions call for using uh, this rubber stopper as a thing in here. I set that up and I tried to true it up, but it didn't work. Um, so I've got this in my spindle chuck and I've got to face off these ends here. I'm going to finish this front and carve a detail in here and then flip it around and finish the other side. But uh, this has got to be squared off and when I put it in here it was impossible to get it square. standing here at 150. So I brought the speed down to 684. That's a little bit better sanding speed. It makes the sandpaper go further. Speed back up to 2160. I'm chicken to use any other tool, so I scraped it right here, and I'm going to start with 80 grit gouge. I'm up to 180 already. I just had to blend that part in. When I used that rubber stopper, I guess they called it a mandrel, the rubber mandrel, it, it did not work. So I had to blend those two. I've just spent the last several minutes hollowing this out a little bit more. One of my wife's complaints about the uh, salt shaker we got for a, a shower gift for our wedding, which will be 45 years ago, uh, is that it doesn't hold much salt. So I've been hollowing this out a little bit. Maybe it'll hold another teaspoon or two. I still have some more room here. I think I'll do just a little bit more right there. There's a little ridge and I know I've got plenty of room. It's one of the original tools I got. It's a Craftsman. Um, I think it was a skew. I'm not really sure though. I reground it into this scraper. And I've expanded the spigot jaws here in the expansion mode. That's one thing about these Novus chucks, they're really a pain to try to catch that. So, yeah, I've, I've probably put another teaspoon, maybe tablespoon in there. This is a perfect time to practice my skew skills. Anytime I can practice the skew skills, I really like using the skew, but I still get catches. I've just uh, stuck a one inch dowel through here just to give me an idea where this is going to go. So it looks like I'm about a eighth of an inch from being even with that. I'm going to take one more pass with my skew right here. Hope I don't get a catch.
left handed is really hard for me. I think I can start sanding there about a hundred and that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, it's time for some assembly. I've got the top here. This piece is going to go on there. Drill some pilot holes. I have this tiny little drill bit. It's probably the smallest drill bit that will fit in, and they are so close to the edge. So close to the edge of the top here. Too close. I'll put a little wax on these small screws. Line that first one. Pilot holes in here. And I'm using my small pin vise that I found in my Christmas stocking. So this piece goes in here. Slight adjustment to line up with those holes. Spring goes in. That goes in. The grinder goes in, and that all gets screwed down. And again, a little wax. Looks like I'm going to have to make some adjustments here because that screw is not coming out the top far enough. So let's see if we can get it to go out far enough. Salt shaker goes on. That's as in there as deep as it goes. All right, so I can't test it unless I screw that part down. So there's a couple problems. This disc is just not in here very loose so I'm going to try to sand, hand sand this a little bit bigger because this is very difficult to turn even like that. And then this just does not come out of the top and I've actually drilled this a little bit deeper than the instructions said to. Uh, this is supposed to be four inches. It is four inches. I re rechecked it. Everything is down there as far as it can go. And there is just not much of an adjustment on the top. So I have no choice but to go back to the drill press and drill this a little deeper.
All right, I've uh, drilled quite a bit out. In fact, I have a half an inch, 4995, and it's supposed to be 3 8 And it just gives me enough to catch the thread. So I'm going to go down another eighth of an inch. So would I buy this kit again? Probably not, unless my wife really likes it. Um, it's easy to turn, but with just so many fine adjustments here, I do not like holding it and a Forstner bit turning above me. I didn't film any of that because it's not safe. Don't do it. And I still don't know if it works. Uh, at least I've got some adjustment on here now. All right, let's go get some salt and pepper. All right, it works. There's still not much of an adjustment on there. That could probably... go down there quite a bit more. But salt comes out the top. Pepper comes out the bottom. I'm uh, not really pleased with the uh, overall shape of it. I think it got a little top heavy. I bought this when I bought the pizza cutters from uh, Penn State Industries, uh, thinking that this might be a gift for next year. So uh, kiddos, if you're watching, I doubt it. But if you think you really have to have one, I'll turn one for you. Relatively inexpensive kit. I think it was six or seven dollars at the most. So I'm gonna let my wife use this and see how she likes it. Um, and again, if I had to make a living at this, we would be in the poorhouse. Pays worse than teaching. Thanks for watching.